Okazaki here. Uh, this is a video for a book that I wrote called Fundamentals of Guitar. The subject of this video is uh, symmetrical scales, symmetrical sounds moving from one to another. Um, there's an exercise on page 45 of the book. Uh, and this is called Symmetrical Shifting. Now this comes at the end of a... Oh, by the way, if you do get this book, uh, I would recommend this paper version with the uh, spiral binding because there's a lot of pictures like this kind of thing that are that are much easier to see on paper than on uh, electronic device so this exercise is at the end of a section that goes through a bunch of uh, symmetrical structures on the guitar starting with a tritone and kind of building it up from there and seeing how many there are uh, turns out there's 16 and then you kind of condense it down and you you get to the um, the ones that we most commonly use, uh, which is what I take a closer look at in this exercise. I mean, you could look at any of them, but I just wanted to look at, at two, which are the diminished and the whole tone scale. Diminished scale meaning uh, a whole tone and a half tone. I also call it octatonic in the book and hexatonic, but I'll just call them diminished and whole tone right now. So uh, diminished being a whole, whole half, whole half, whole half, uh, eight tones in the, in the octave and the whole tone being all whole tones, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone. So, you know, if I start on G, that's diminished, and then the same range in a whole tone, right? So, uh, people who study a little bit of theory will know right away how many of each one there are, but it's pretty easy to see that, that if, if I play this whole tone scale, and I go I play in the spaces of that, scale. Um, that's another whole tone scale. And if I go up another whole step, I'm in the same scale as I started. Right? So, uh, so there's only two of those. Now with the diminished scale, um, it's a little harder to see, but, but it becomes clear uh, when you see that everything in the scale is repeated in minor thirds. Anything that you do in a diminished scale, you can do in minor thirds because that's where the repetition starts again. So we could call anything the beginning of it. Let's say C here. Let's let's give it a name and call this one C. The one that says C, D, E flat. This one. And I'm playing the, the usual uh, fingering for a, a, a diminished scale, which is kind of one position. So that's a C, and then the, I get to do the same thing, a half step up. Right, and I can do the same thing, a whole step up, starting on D. Now if I go to E flat, I'm in the same one. I'm in the same one as it. started because it's a minor third away right so I could say the one starting on C the one starting on D flat or the one starting on D um, I think for this purpose I'll say the one starting on B because that's closer to C so I'm gonna go as, as close to C as possible either up a, up a half step or down a half step so we got C diminished D flat diminished B diminished Here's 
is the question that this exercise asks. If I wanted to get from one diminished to any other diminished or one diminished to a whole tone or any one of these scales to any other one, how could we do it? Um, I had this idea of, it comes from, it comes from things you do in diatonic scales a lot where you have uh, modulation through a common chord or something like that, like uh, uh, one chord could turn into a five and then go to the four or something like that and it's kind of a, a, a connecting thing or a gateway or a door I like to think of it as a doorway a way you get from one thing to another so if uh, let's say I'm on this C diminished and I want to get to the, to the D flat diminished Visually, or you can think about all pitches, but it becomes pretty clear that um, you know any diminished is made out of two diminished seventh structures, and if you put two of them, if you overlap, if you have two different ones, somehow they have to overlap with one of those diminished sevenths, and that diminished seventh, in this case, is the C E flat uh, G flat A. sounds all right um it's not particularly interesting i don't think it's just sort of moving it sounds like diminished scales moving um chromatically i guess what's more interesting to me is mixing the two kinds of, of symmetrical sound you have one that's kind of a binary sound which is this this diminished sound because it divides the octave into four parts right or two parts either way you want to think about it or two parts divided into two parts each, or whatever. Uh, basically, minor thirds, and then uh, and then you have the whole tone thing, which is a ternary division of the octave, or into six parts as well, uh, which is a type of ternary. So, um, what if uh, what if we take the uh, uh, this scale again? I'm playing that C diminished, okay, and I say. Uh, well, what about uh, the, that with the C whole tone? This one. Let's say I want to get from that one um, to the diminished to the whole tone, or back and forth. So what is the doorway? And the doorway is uh, um, the common pitches. I mean, we could think of it so, uh, what are the common pitches between those two scales? So, there's a thing in the book that sort of explains this visually by, by overlapping some shapes. Um, but we can just look at all the notes and we can see that the, the, the common pitches are, of course, C and D and A flat and G flat. Okay, or G flat and A flat. C, D, G flat, A flat.
was just going between the two, the diminish, the one diminished and the one whole tone scale that had C in them. Okay, uh, the, the diminished scale that starts on C with a whole tone, I should say. Um, then uh, you may think, well, that's cool, but I wanted to get to, I wanted to get to all of them. I want to be able to get to all of the scales. So let's say I wanted to get from the C diminished um, to the D flat diminished, uh, but not just through that diminished thing that we did before, but through this whole tone scale. Like if you see, um, if you take this C, C, D, G flat, A flat thing, you see that doesn't use all the pitches from that whole tone scale, it just uses four of them. And there's other versions of this, there's other instances of this same shape in that same whole tone scale. There's tritone way it's because it's symmetrical by tritone it's it's the same pitches right you get to I'll play it this way C D G flat A flat uh, D E G sharp A sharp or D E A flat B flat I'm just gonna use all flats and then E G flat B flat C scales by using the whole tones to get to the different diminished and using the diminished to get to different whole tones. Um, so to give an example, I'll, I'll take a, I'll start in this home bass again, the, uh, the, the diminished starting on a, a CD. starts on D is the same as the one that starts on B. So either way you want to think about it. Um, so now I'm going to play um, the same thing, but I'm going to go the other way. I'm in the C diminished. structure, 
right? Down a minor third, right? Or, you know, up a minor third. <laughs> whatever way you want to think about it. This is all symmetrical stuff, so you can always move by minor thirds, tritones, whatever. But uh, what that means is that um, the same diminish can go to two different whole tones, each of the two whole tones. I mean, there's only two. So, uh, so, so you have this, this doorway. I'm going to call this the lower doorway because it's lower sounding. And I'm going to call this the upper doorway. from this diminished, the C diminished, through the lower doorway, right, so that way I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the, the whole tone that has a C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, that, that whole, whole tone scale. If I use the upper doorway, It's just a it's just a way to think about symmetrical space and try to get a feel for moving from one type of symmetrical space to the other kind of smoothly and uh, uh, without um, through the understanding of, of, of how they connect right so that's what I was doing in the beginning of the tape uh, something like <laughs> So anyway, I hope you check it out uh, and hope you got something out of this video. Thanks.